Hello friends, Jenna Byrne Art Journaling here, back with my Advent Tag series. Today I'm going to meditate on the word hidden. Um, and it's funny because this is actually a theme that I used for one of the pages in my online course, Wild Art Deep Faith. So I've already done a whole um, multi-layered journal page on the theme of hidden. So if you're at all interested in that, check out my online course via my website, jennaburn.com. Here you can see I have a security envelope. This is probably something my bank um, statements came in. And they have these lovely little see-through windows and also some quite interesting patterns on the inside of the envelope you'll find. This one's quite plain, it's kind of like a grey mesh. Um, but yeah, see what you can find inside your envelopes um, for your bills and other important information. So what I've decided to do is make some sort of pocket and you can see I'm just folding the edges of this uh, piece of paper in and around the tag. And I'm going to glue it down using Fabri-Tac glue. Um, you could use any type of glue, it's just that this dries super fast. So I'm, I've folded down uh, the top and bottom edges just to give it a bit more um, stability really because it's quite thin and flimsy so those folds are just to make it a little bit stronger and then the sides I'm going to um, well the bottom actually and the sides I'm going to glue to the tag so basically whatever you do uh, don't glue down the top edge so that's the bottom that I'm gluing down um, to the front of the tag and now I'm going to glue the sides to the back of the tag. I'm sure there's other ways of doing this but this is how I went about it. You can see here I have a little pocket on the front of the tag and I am now going to create another tag, like a mini tag, to go inside the, the pocket, like so. Now I'm using for this um, the scraps that we cut off the original bits of cardboard that we made our tags out of, if you remember. So we cut four tags out of a, or I did cut four tags out of a, an A4 sheet of paper um, and we had a strip left over which I held on to to make um, another little tag that is smaller and just fits really nicely into that little pocket. And now I'm taking yet another scrap and I'm cutting two rectangles that together are just wider than the width of the tag. And these are going to be little doors, um, which again are going to hide something. So there's kind of like layers of hiddenness in this project. I'm just scoring um, down the side there at the edge of the tag so that I can fold like a kind of hinge and glue that little door to the tag. So the theme of hidden in the Bible, God never set out to be hidden from us or for us to be hidden from him. So in the beginning, in the garden, um, Adam and Eve walked with God and talked with God and there was no hiding. Um, and the first hiding that happened was after Adam and Eve had sinned, they'd eaten the apple and they were ashamed and they hid themselves. So it was actually um, mankind that hid from God, not the other way around. But because of their sin, they could no longer be in this beautiful garden that contained God's presence face to face. They uh, had to leave the Garden of Eden and angels were put 
in front of the gates to guard it so that they could no longer come in. Mankind's sin had separated us from God. Just adding a few paper clips here um, while this is drying just to hold it all in place and I'll leave it to dry and come back later. Now inside the doors I wanted a picture of Jesus um, and I've got these beautiful old postage stamps that I picked up at um, a fete at some stage and they're really lovely to use in your art journaling and of course there are lots of Christmas ones with the theme of the nativity and I've got one here of Mary and the baby Jesus, um, an old painting of some kind and I'm going to just mount that on a piece of red paper and stick that behind my doors. And we see this theme of God being separate and hidden and uh, inaccessible repeated in the design of the tabernacle and the temple where there was a big curtain in front of the holy place where God was and no one was allowed to go in. In fact there were in the same way as I've done my tag, um, there's the big tag and the small tag and then there's the small area behind the doors. Um, there was in the temple like a holy area um, where the priest could go and then there was the holy of holies where the priest could only go once a year after he'd done all the right sacrifices etc etc and it was so holy and terrifying that they um, tied a rope to his foot just in case he died in there they could drag out the body without having to go in themselves. So that's how um, scary and inaccessible holy God was in the Old Testament. And that is the context in which the Christmas story of God coming to earth, being revealed in the person of his son, Jesus, in a stable as a, somebody who you could touch and talk with um, and get to know is just so, so shocking and um, amazing and wonderful that God would reveal himself as a person and that person um, would go on to reconcile us forevermore with God through paying the price for that sin um, that I was talking about earlier. I'm just adding some kind of decoration to the um, window on the tag with my Posca paint pens. Um, this represents the veil that I was talking about, the curtain in the temple. And of course we know that when Jesus died, the moment he died on the cross, the veil in the temple was torn in two, which symbolized the fact that we are now allowed in to the presence of God. All that has happened since Adam and Eve ate that apple is reversed and we can now walk and talk with God as his friends. It is just the most amazing good news. Now I've decided to write a Bible verse on the back of my smaller tag. Um, like I said in my previous video, I'm not doing anything on the back of the big tags because eventually I'm going to stick the tags back to back when we make our tag book, when we finished this. Um, but the smaller tag I can write on the back of. So I have decided to write the verse from John 1, 18. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only son who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. Which is what we celebrate at Christmas, that God is made known. He is no longer hidden or distant. And the theme of hidden continues in a different way in the New Testament. So if you're interested in learning more about that, like I said, um, I have done a whole journal page 
thinking about that as part of my online course, Wild Art Deep Faith. So check that out. I'm just using some Distress Ink to ink up the edges of this tag. I've done this on both the small and big tags. It's not necessary, um, but it just gives a nice finish. And that's it for this one. I hope you have fun doing your own interpretation of the word hidden. How are you going to hide things in your tag? I look forward to seeing. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also you've hit that little bell so that you will hear about the next video I post on the Advent Tag series. I'll see you soon.